Know a lot about golf. Well, we're waiting. Another week is done, and man, unless you're in Texas, it's been beautiful for most of us. We are those weekend golf guys. How you doing? John Ashton here in studio. Jeff Smith at the Golf Cave Otter Creek, the plain and simple golf school in Columbus. And Draper producer Mark Hunter on the controls, and we are all set to go. Man, it has been great. Got out many, many times last week. Eh, a little bit of rain one day, but, you know, we can live with that. You need the rain for the Bermuda to come in. And now that the nights are warm and the days are wet, the courses are all going to be pretty in another week. That's right. Except down in Texas, where our good friend Brooke Watts is now uh, <laughs> yeah. seeking other employment because she can't <laughs> teach outside anymore. Well, I believe I believe she's, she's become a been doing is flooding. She's become a kayak instructor. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So, Unbelievable. Uh, <laughs> I got some friends down in Austin. Brooke's one of them, and and then also in uh, in Houston. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, it's been terrible. you know they're they're taking up boating, and yeah. uh, you know they're thinking about uh, you know water skiing in the streets, yeah. all kinds of stuff. But the good news is next year, those golf courses are going to be beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's Let's like, hope. I think they had some of this mess last year, too, didn't they? It's like that Nile River flooding you used to learn about in history class. Yeah. You know? Just wait till <clears throat> next year. All right. Cubs fan for you, right? <laughs> wait till next year. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let, let's talk uh, Facebook because uh, sure. our, our Facebook page has been getting lots of activity in the past uh, week because there's a a bunch of cool stuff up there to uh, to look at. First off, uh, it's facebook.com slash golf guys. Very easy. Just go there and like us. Whether you like us or not, just go there and like us. Yeah, click the button. Yeah, click the button. You don't have to, like, send us Christmas cards or anything. Just click the button. Uh, there is a couple of fantastic posts up there. One, Jeff, I don't know where you found this two-year-old kid. It's but, unreal, isn't it? But, man, the swing on this kid, it's beautiful. Makes you mad, doesn't it, John? Yes. You've been playing golf for how long, and that kid's got a better golf swing. Yes. Sorry, I didn't need to say that out loud again, did I? That's okay, man. Oops. That's, I'm yeah. keeping track, and that's one. <laughs> right. For the, for today. <laughs> yeah, I guess we, we still have 55 <laughs> minutes together, so, you know. <laughs> Every day's a new day. <laughs> Starting from scratch all the time. Yeah, which Love is it. which is why we only let you one with us once a week. <laughs> But this uh, this Golf Gods video, you know, they put it out there, and here's this little kid. I mean, mm -hmm. he's got his little baseball cap on. He's ready to roll. He's got his tennis shoes on. He's got a T-shirt. He's got his jeans on, and he's got this club in his hand. And all of a sudden, he takes this thing back, and you look at it, and you're like, oh, that's kind of cute. And then he swings forward, and you're like, oh, my God, that yeah. kid's going on tour. Yeah. It is. It's unreal. And there's like a two-second pause between him striking the ball and – Finishing his backswing and then turning his head to see where it went, yeah. which which means not only is he good, but he's arrogant. <laughs> he knows where that ball's going to go. He, he doesn't knew, have to look at it. Where to look. Look. Yeah, yeah, he knew yeah. the only direction to look. It's not like he was searching no, when huh? he turned his head up to look yeah. for that. He's like, no, yeah, it's there again. Yeah, he's one of those guys <laughs> that'll bend down and pick up the tee before he even tries to look and see where the ball went. Yeah, because he knows. Yeah. So annoying. Yeah. It is annoying. <laughs> it is annoying. <laughs> Because the rest of you guys are out there leaning, looking, <laughs> leaning, open, That's using up. Come, come back, come, come back, come back. Stay up. Yeah. <laughs> Hit a tree. Oh, no, not that tree. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh. and you got this little kid here. I mean, he's got a perfectly fitting glove, too. That's the crack. That's the thing cracks me up. Somebody found this kid. A uh, a kid sized glove yeah. and it's flawless. Now maybe I it mean, was. Did you ever stop to think that maybe we're getting punked and it's like a Photoshop <laughs> thing? I don't think you can Photoshop that dude. <laughs> <laughs> really good. Okay, it's really good. I just thought I'd throw it out there. And another well, thing, we have talked about timing and tempo. We've been talking we about that since we hit the air, since we had uh, John, what's his name, the author of the uh, Golf Gods book, who right. the Golf Gods were named timing and tempo. Those are the two <laughs> most important aspects of a golf swing, timing and tempo. I want you to look at the video on Facebook.com slash golf guys of the waterfall swing. Yeah, it's actually pretty cool. It is pretty cool. It has absolutely nothing to do with golf, but it has everything to do with timing and tempo. It, it does. As a matter of fact, I see these people swinging back and forth and back and forth in the exact same rhythm 
the exact same speed going back is the exact same speed going forward. And, and in such an event here on this, on this swing that they're using, that's pretty helpful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because there and, are breaks in the waterfall. Dry. Right. There are breaks in the waterfall. And in order to hit the breaks on both the forward and the backward passes, they have to have perfect timing and tempo or mm-hmm. they're going to get wet. So for those so of us. So that kind of stuff relates to the golf swing. You look at it and you're like, okay, does that mean the same pace forward and back? No. But what it does, it means that there has to be a balance and one that you can swing in good rhythm mm-hmm. and control. Certainly, everybody's tempo, the good players, are about three counts back to one count through. Yeah. That kind of a ratio. Yeah, and a lot of but people tell you to use like, that. like somebody's name, you know, just just some sort of a device in your head where you can you can kind of get the rhythm down. There is a device here. Listen to this. Hear that? That's called a swing click. I and thought I, you were using a stapler or something over there. And it's Tape. like a metronome. I gave this to intrepid producer Mark, who is a musician when he's not playing golf. And luckily, he's a much better musician than he is a golfer. But I was going to say, wait a second. How does he find time for music? I figured if I could give him something to equate it to musically, it's it's a metronome. It gives you rhythm. It's called a swing click, and we've got uh, the woman from Swing Click. At least I think it's a woman. Her name is Liesel, and she's from South Africa, so I could be wrong. And I apologize in advance if that be the case, but she's going to be our guest a little bit later on in the show. We're going to do a Jeff's Quick Fix on a topic that's uh, going to get you much better sometime this weekend out on the course and a lot more. It's coming up for those weekend golf guys. Hang out with us. We'll be right back. Hey, this is John Ashton with Those Weekend Golf Guys. And, uh, you know, Jeff Smith is a PGA member, so he gets to play like anywhere he wants to play for free. You and I, we're not quite like that. We have to, you know, by hook or by crook. You got a friend, whatever. We all want a discount. We all want a deal. And we know how you can get a deal. You want to go to digitalgolfpass.com. They've got the uh, the whole country broken up into different areas. And there are a whole lot of golf courses in each area. You can buy one area or upgrade to all the areas it's a membership. It makes you kind of cool. And, you know, with the right deal at your first foray into your favorite golf course with Digital Golf Pass, you've probably saved enough money to actually pay for the membership. Check it out, digitalgolfpass.com. Use the coupon code GOLFGUYS at checkout and you'll save five bucks. Yeah, we hooked that up for you. All right? You know people. Digitalgolfpass.com. Coupon code GOLFGUYS. Go now. Harry Taylor is a PGA Tour golfer, best known for his short game and for the fact that he is the Taylor in Taylor Made. He has been a designer of golf clubs for a long time. And one of the things he really wanted to do was design wedges that would work well out of the box for 98% of the golfing public. That's you and me, people. HarryTaylorGolf.com. Go take a look at these wedges. One, they're beautiful. Two, they work really, really well. For 98% of us and three, I can get you at a discount. Just when you order, please use the code love me tender and that $169 black wedge is going to set you back only 109 bucks. That's right, $60 off. And the 149 wedge will be $99, $50 off. If you use the code love me tender at checkout. HarryTaylorGolf.com. Love me tender in the code box at checkout. You're going to get yourself a great wedge at a great price. We appreciate it. And we are back. Those weekend golf guys. John Ashton in studio. Jeff Smith at the Golf Cave at Otter Creek. The plain and simple golf school. And uh, you had a, a situation yesterday out on the course up there at uh, Otter Creek in Columbus. Yeah. Where, a lot of playing uh, lessons. You kept it plain and simple. I did. I did. You know, an example of some of the things that I hear, people send me a lot of stuff, you know, videos and whatnot, and sometimes it's swing things, and sometimes they send me, I, I had this interesting one where they just sent me things that are wrong with their game overall, and we just, I just called them, and we just had a little conversation. But that's, uh, nonetheless, I had somebody come to me that was struggling on the golf course. Things are going pretty well on the driving range, and the, the swing looks pretty good, putting looks good, pretty good, pitching looks pretty good. And you wonder, why are these people shooting these high scores? 
So it was time for a playing lesson. So we went out and played four holes. Young man's name was Chris. And, and Chris's trouble was, you know, he was, he was up on the tee and I saw what he was doing and I watched him play golf and he really didn't have any idea where his target was. And he really didn't have any idea where he was setting up because mm-hmm. he was really looking at the ground a lot. Mm-hmm. You know, he'd, he'd walk toward his ball and his eyes are on the ground and he'd walk toward his ball and he would turn his body and he would orient himself to his golf ball. But yet he had no idea where he was going on the golf course because he wasn't paying attention. Now, John, I know that you and I have talked on, on the golf course about, you know, alignment. Right. With my case, though, it wasn't a question of not knowing. It was a question of thinking incorrectly where I was yeah. at. Yeah. Well, well, Chris, as I worked with him yesterday, he uh, he didn't even look. Yeah. He was not aware of his surroundings. Okay. And and not aware of where things were and the lie that he was playing on. And, you know, sometimes he had an uphill lie and he wouldn't make any adjustments or a downhill lie and he wouldn't make any adjustments. And he was so... I call it ball bound. He was so oriented in his mind around the golf ball that he was not oriented in his mind on the terrain that he was playing off of, Mm -hmm. nor the direction he was supposed to be going. And so I found out that on the driving range, Chris could hit a golf ball pretty well. And on the golf course, Chris was really struggling to score because he was really not paying attention to the things he had to pay attention to. So we had a little playing lesson about how how to play. Okay. In all the playing lessons that I give, we're walking. Yeah. Now, John, I know that this will hurt your feelings a little bit here, but you will be carrying a bag and you will be walking the golf course when we go play because it's going to make you pay attention to things. Oh, you no. You have time. Uh, we may be walking, but I don't carry no bags. <laughs> uh-uh. you, can, you can get one of those. You can get one of those little sissy carts. That's fine. You can have one of those. No, I want the big time sissy cart. The motorized one. Uh, the motorized that one. That follows me yeah. automatically. <laughs> you whistle and it comes? Yes. Is that it? That's it. But he, So here we are, and, and we're walking. And I'm telling him about where he's going to go and where he's going to look at it. And then to, to walk up behind his golf ball and to stand there and look and pay attention to what he's going to be hitting off of and where he needs to be pointed Mm -hmm. to give him an idea what he's trying to accomplish. And this was somewhat like opening up the heavens worth of information to him because Chris, as a player, was all about thinking about his golf swing and standing over a golf ball, staring at the ball. He was not paying attention to the terrain. He didn't pay attention to the slopes and the greens as he was pitching. Mm -hmm. He didn't pay attention to the type of sand. Was it hard? Was it soft? Was the ball sitting down in it? Was it not? You know, what did he have to do? What was the shot facing him? He was not attuned to those things. So what we did is we talked about basically paying attention, for Mm. lack of a better word. Paying attention to where you are, what's the shot, what do you need to do, what what goal should you be having for the shot you have right now? Because he was only thinking about, let's call them driving range thoughts, on the golf course. So he was struggling quite a bit you, until we played and then things got a little bit more uh, better for him in his own mind. A little more organized. Do you have a checklist that you go through mentally? Yeah. What is it? I'll tell you what. When I'm on the golf course, I'm walking and I'm finding out, am I walking uphill? Am I walking downhill? Am I walking on a side hill? Uh, is the hole? How about the wind? check the trees, look at, see what's going on. Do I see balls bouncing hard when I see them? You know, if I, if my playing partners and and they hit a ball and it lands on the green, was it a a high arcing shot and it had a big bounce to it? Or was it a low worm burner type of shot and scooted off the green? You know, it gives me an idea how hard the surface would be. Um, You know, when I pay attention to every shot, I'm also paying attention to the, the trajectory and the reaction to everybody else's shots to know what the turf is that I'm about to land it on. I pay attention to a lot of things. Okay. So my checklist is my lie, my surroundings, my immediate surroundings, Mm -hmm. the surroundings and what are going to influence my ball in the air, and then what's my ball going to land on. 
I, I look at those things in that order. What do I have to accomplish by striking a golf ball? What do I think is going to happen to it in the middle of the, in the, in the flight? Is it really windy uphill or downhill? Uh, and then what's it going to land on? And it helps me choose a club and it helps me choose a target. So help, and it also helps me choose a stance. Gets all that stuff out there. Cool. Uh, Jeff, uh, has the ability to fix not only your mental state out there, but, uh, anything else that might ail you too. Jeff's quick fix. We're going to talk. We're going to talk. I think we're going to talk about the difficulty of uneven lies. And we're going to talk about that when we come right back. We're all those weekend golf guys. Don't you move. Every other week, we send you great tidbits, including a weekend tune-up from Jeff Smith, a quick video that'll get you doing something absolutely right on the golf course. Every other week, we send it to you, if you ask us to, just go to thoseweekendgolfguys.com slash newsletter and sign up. You suck. I mean, isn't that the thought that goes through your mind every time you, like, chunk a chip or blade a wedge? It is, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it indeed. Is. It is. I hear that so many times from people. <laughs> you know, it could be – I hate to say this because I'm one of these personal responsibility kind of guys, but it could be the club. That's possible. And I don't understand. I know you do, but nobody understands, so we're not going to explain it. But the bounce and the lie angle and the grind and all that kind of stuff, it's very confusing but very important for wedges. Is it not, Jeff? That is absolutely true. You, All right. you better have something that gets through the turf pretty well. Harry Taylor, former PGA professional golfer and excellent club designer, has new wedges that work for 98% of us. Harry and Taylor. HarryTaylorGolf.com. Use code LOVEMETENDER and you are going to get a huge discount. The 149 wedge for 99 bucks, the 169 wedge for 109 bucks. Love Me Tender is the code. Go there, check it out, harrytaylorgolf.com. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices. Never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 800-554-4183 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 800-554-4183 to take your call now. Call 800-554-4183. That's 800-554-4183. Again, 800 800- Five five four forty one eighty three. Hey, you like to play golf, but you like to save money. Mm, how about doing the same thing at the same time? Check it out, digitalgolfpass.com. No matter where you are in the country, there's probably a digital golf pass that's going to get you a discount at many different golf courses. All right, so this season you're going to save yourself some money and get some, uh, some variety in where you go. DigitalGolfPass.com. Use the coupon code GOLFGUYS at checkout and you will save five bucks. DigitalGolfPass.com. Having a place to go after school will make you a better student. Having an outlet to express yourself will make you a better artist. Having something to do together will make you a better family. At The Y, we're helping build better friends, listeners, writers, swimmers, scientists, and musicians one chance at a time. Get the gift of opportunity. Support the Y at ymca.net. The Y for a better us. Those weekend golf guys, John Ashton in studio and Tripper producer Mark Hunter at the controls. Jeff Smith, he is way up yonder in Columbus at the Plain and Simple Golf School. And he is plainly and simply splaining to everybody how to get much more better out there on the golf course. And, uh, we, Mark and I have, we, we sit here on the way into the studio and, and we say, okay, we got to ask Jeff a question. I mean, if you can't use Jeff for free lessons, what good is having him on the show? <laughs> Comedy relief. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, there, then there's that. But we need some. Oh, and, and ratings. And ratings, yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and credibility and all that good stuff, right. yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Forget we asked that question. Um, 
what what Mark and I both have a, an extreme problem with is um, uneven lies. Oh, I thought you were going to say lack of practice. Well, maybe lack of practice on uneven <laughs> lies. Okay, but you'd uh, think that you you guys would be well, maybe not Mark, but John. I'm figuring you would have plenty of practice on the uneven lies. Places you hit it. Well, <laughs> I'm fine. See, oh, and, and funny you should mention that because I'm fine when you know I'm I'm on the side of the fairway and the ball is above my feet a tad, or the other side of the fairway where the ball is below my feet a tad. I mean, I know that above my feet it's gonna it's it's a draw lie, and below my feet it's more of a fade lie, and you can aim accordingly and and grip the club accordingly and club up a little bit because you're going to have to choke up a little bit so whatever club you're using is not going to go as far as you're used to hitting that club. I know that. My problem comes on those rare occasions when that drive is in the middle of the fairway. <laughs> and the Wait, fairway Wait, let me get a picture of this one. Okay, I'm still picturing marks. I, I have in the middle of the fairway. I have a I have a few pictures I've picture taken from my last 17 rounds if you'd like me to send you some. Um but when the ball is in the middle of the fairway on an incline. Oh, yeah. Uphill inclines, you know, that's fine again. It's uphill, so the loft's going to be higher. But on a down, downhill lies, man, I can't hit a, a ball on a downhill lie to save my life. I know why. Why? Because, because you, you want to test your spot in the well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We can edit out me in this part of it and just leave you go. Because <laughs> if you're just going to answer all the questions, <laughs> it's safe, right? <laughs> <laughs> Do tell, Jeff. <laughs> no, no, really. I'll I, mute him. Think about this. <laughs> yeah. If if you will just understand that the swing, let's just consider your swing to be a circle or close to it, all right? So mm-hmm. Let's say it's circular or, or elliptical, okay? Yeah. A little flattish at the bottom. All, okay. Yeah. All right. So your hands, when you take them back, are up high. Uh-huh. And then when they get back down to the ball, they're down low. Uh-huh. Okay. When the ball is on a, a downhill lie, like the like you're a right-handed golfer, yep. and your right foot is higher than your left foot, yep. and the ground behind you is higher, as that club comes down mm-hmm. in this arc, you're going to strike the ground behind it unless mm-hmm. you tilt your shoulders to match the slope of the hill. Mm-hmm. So which means that the arms would come down and it would actually move and the low point would be moving forward more down the hill because if you tilted your spine to the right, it would hit even further behind when the ground was higher to the right. So mm-hmm. you got to tilt your spine so that your shoulders, if you were to stick your arms straight out from your body and make yourself a nice little T out of your spine and your arms, right? And then mm-hmm. you just tilted your spine forward, which is really hard for an awful lot of players, is to tilt their spine forward um, and their head essentially out in front of center. That's how you're going to get it done, but most people have a hard time with that. So you mean like your shoulders should be parallel to the ground? Yes. Okay. So when the ground is tilted, your shoulder line should be tilted to match. Okay. Now, do you If do- you do that, you're going to move the bottom of the swing more forward, which is what you want. Because the ground is higher behind, so you're going to change how that club comes into the into that spot, and the ball position will probably have to move a little bit forward as well. Okay, now do you do you do that change just by uh, by the movement from the hips up, or do you do I that do. by bending your knees and moving your I feet? I do. So if I was to to show you, I would go through and I would step firmly on the downhill foot to stabilize the body, which would be your left foot if you're a right-handed golfer. That's right. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then I would stand upright and get my sense of balance real fast. And then I would begin to tilt to match the slope of the hill. And then I would take some swings that I felt like I was skimming the hill from high to low. So that way I could handle that lie and I could predict where my club was going to go. And then I would take a club in my hand, as as you mentioned. Um, Guess what? It's going to face down and it's also swinging down. So don't expect a high shot. Also, don't expect a shot that goes uh, as far as it is off a normal lie because it's not going to get in the air as much, and it's going to hit the ground sooner because it's traveling down and facing down now. So keep in mind that you may want to pull out a higher lofted club to get more air time, but don't expect it to travel as far. 
do you have any uh, rule of thumb as to how many clubs up you go, or is that something that would come from just, I don't know, doing it over and over you, again? I would tell you it depends on the conditions, because let's just say that you've got somewhat wet conditions. Mm-hmm. Given the fact that your ball's going to hit something soft anyway, it's not going to bounce out a lot either. So you've got to kind of think, if I take more club, that's less loft and it's going into the ground. So if you're thinking about like it's going to, you know, because I'm on this off lie and I still going to carry the green or carry it all the way to the green and hold it, I think you're probably going to come up short. Okay. Which is usually so what I do. For that. Maybe it's a five iron shot and maybe you want to go get out your, your big, you know, your hybrid club and choke down on it. So you've got more loft on the head and more mass on the head and maybe it'll carry a little further because it's got more loft. But I got, I got a feeling it's probably not going to carry as far. Yeah. Well, that's, that's the, the result Mark and I both get on a, on a consistent basis is just a worm burner. Yeah. Because you're swinging down and the club face is facing down. So go back yeah. and get something with a little bit more loft because the worm burner, there's a whole lot more friction on the ground than there is in the air. I know that's you right. Know, on that golf ball. <laughs> so if you want to catch a little bit more distance, you know, maybe instead of hitting your five iron, maybe you hit your seven iron and get a little bit more airtime out of that deal. Yeah, that, that that's it, you know, that's, it's that's not almost, facing as down as the five iron is. Yeah, and it's okay, but then would you lay it? I'm just saying this because most most of the courses we play on that have severe downhill lies also have water. <laughs> 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 that's you know like oh Double my goodness trouble. if I don't hit this correctly this is this this is where you pull out the four year old top flight <laughs> 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 just in case. <laughs> So that way you don't just top it right into the lake is what you're saying. Well, yeah, usually is yeah. what happens. Yeah. But uh, Yeah, take a take a more lofted club and find out how far those things travel. Okay. Before uh, before you test that on the water right in front of the green. Yeah, and that that probably is another one of those practice things. And if you don't and if you don't do it that way, um then go find the drop area. <laughs> yeah, your, don't even left, try right? just, just write an extra stroke down and walk on up man. <laughs> yeah, go to the drop area John <laughs> alright well we'll see if that fix works here how about stretching how about getting some rhythm both of them are important we're going to talk about uh, a, a little rhythmic golf swing tip coming up next hang with us we are those weekend golf guys don't move You checked out our Facebook page yet? It's facebook.com slash golf. Guys, go there and like us. Please. We need the affirmation. Hey, this is John Ashton with Those Weekend Golf Guys. And, uh, you know, Jeff Smith is a PGA member, so he gets to play like anywhere he wants to play for free. You and I, we're not quite like that. We have to, you know, by hook or by crook. You got a friend, whatever. We all want a discount. We all want a deal. And we know how you can get a deal. You want to go to digitalgolfpass.com. They've got the uh, the whole country broken up into different areas. And there are a whole lot of golf courses in each area. You can buy one area or upgrade to all the areas it's a membership. It makes you kind of cool. And, you know, with the right deal at your first foray into your favorite golf course with Digital Golf Pass, you've probably saved enough money to actually pay for the membership. Check it out, digitalgolfpass.com. Use the coupon code GOLFGUYS at checkout and you'll save five bucks. Yeah, we hooked that up for you. All right. You know people. Digitalgolfpass.com. Coupon code GOLFGUYS. Go now. I've owned my company for 14 years now, and I can tell you that payroll is a four-letter word. I hate doing it. It eats up hours I don't have, and it costs me money I could be saving, but my accountant's too expensive, and I'm not sure who to call, but I know I need help. We're Paychecks, and we take all the hassles out of small business payroll. We save you time and money. It's easy. Call, fax, or give us your payroll information securely online and we take care of the rest. We calculate the correct taxes, manage payments and direct deposits. We even send out your checks. Payroll doesn't need to be a four-letter word anymore. We're so sure that we can save you time and money that we'll give you a month's payroll free. Just for calling 877-376-2829. Get one month's payroll for free. Call Paychex right now. 877-376-2829. That's 877-376-2829. You suck. 
I mean, isn't that the thought that goes through your mind every time you like chunk a chip or blade a wedge? It is, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it indeed. Is. It is. I hear that so many times from people. <laughs> You know, it could be – I hate to say this because I'm one of these personal responsibility kind of guys, but it could be the club. That's possible. And I don't understand. I know you do, but nobody understands, so we're not going to explain it. But the bounce and the lie angle and the grind and all that kind of stuff, it's very confusing but very important for wedges. Is it not, Jeff? That is absolutely true. You, right. you better have something that gets through the turf pretty well. Harry Taylor, former PGA professional golfer and excellent club designer – has new wedges that work for 98% of us. Harry Taylor, harrytaylorgolf.com. Use code LOVEMETENDER and you are going to get a huge discount. The 149 wedge for 99 bucks, the 169 wedge for 109 bucks. Love Me Tender is the code. Go there, check it out, harrytaylorgolf.com. Thanks for hanging. Welcome back. Those Weekend Golf Guys, John Ashton in studio, Jeff Smith at the Golf Cave at Otter Creek in Columbus. And we are going to go way down yonder, as we say in the South, to South Africa. I want to talk what? to Liesl Niehaus and Mike Quinn from Swing Click. Guys, thank you very much. It's not that late, but it is evening in South Africa. Thanks for uh, extending your day a bit to spend some time with us here on those weekend golf guys how y'all doing fantastic guys. very well thank you for having us oh thank you for being with us my producer mark who you've talked to at length here so far today is a musician i showed him the swing click that you guys were so uh, kind to send us and and i said mark think of it as a metronome and being a musician he went oh i can do that and i just watched him just outside today as a matter of fact and I've seen him play golf, but with this little device on, he actually took his backswing so much further back and followed through so much further than he does on the course that he may actually outdrive me now, <laughs> which is kind of scary. But that, <laughs> that no, that's fantastic. That is basically the the thought process between be, behind this device, is it not? Just to get the rhythm of the swing and the follow through and all that, correct? Yeah, it's, <clears throat> it's based on um, finishing your back swing and, and trying to get you into a consistent position at the top of your back swing, which in essence creates, you know, a good rhythm. Um, ironically, you say that he was taking is is swing a little bit further back it was it was originally designed for a golfer that that as he got older and older his swing got shorter and shorter and the coaches were trying to give him something to to get his to get him to turn his shoulder more and go a little bit further back and and he just struggled to do it and and that's how the device came about to create a click at the top of your swing so that you can create the muscle memory of of finishing Is, your back swing because that's the key to rhythm if you when you're under pressure on a golf course you tend to get quicker and quicker and that's how you lose your rhythm <laughs> Amen to that. <laughs> I know that's right. Uh, <laughs> now, was was there any math? I mean, is is there a, a point? Is it the same point in the backswing for everybody, or is it just totally dependent no, no. on your size and gravity and all that kind of stuff? Absolutely, no. There's, uh, you know, it does twist uh, uh, for guys that have got slightly flatter swings. I mean, you want the device pointing at the ball at the top of your backswing. If you want to lengthen your golf swing, you can do it. If you want to shorten your golf swing, you can do it. But certainly in terms of uh, the timing of that device, um, kind of happened by mistake and not by mistake, but uh, there was a there was a system called Model Golf Out a couple of years ago where they measured the timing of the golf swing to be about 1.4 seconds uh, uh, in order to hit the ball 300 yards. It's very much based on that kind of timing. So what you're telling me is if I get good with this and the timing is correct, I'm going to be able to hit the ball 300 yards? No, that's not what they're saying. Does, does that come with a guarantee, right. Mike? <laughs> no. That's our story of the sticky <laughs> That's why they live in South that. Africa. You, you, you want to take them up on that? You You're going to have to find them first. <laughs> Mark, Mark has showed a definite improvement on that. And it's funny. It's, it's one of those things, like you said, that a lot of some of the best ideas in golf happen by accident. Yes. So yeah, how, it's very simple. It is very simple. Absolutely. You just you just strap it on your arm and it clicks at the top of your backswing, clicks at impact, clicks when you're finished in a balanced position and 
and gives you like a metronome that frame of reference of of great rhythm um so it's very very simple and because it's small you can put it in your bag you can carry it in your back pocket you can use it with all your clubs you can use it on a driving range on a golf course on a golf course <laughs> as well um obviously you can't use it in a competition but certainly if you want to keep your rhythm and 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 kind of do training on how to keep your rhythm for four and a half hours on the golf course um we've seen people with huge improvements going from 115 shots to to 90 after three months of using the product on the golf course yeah, as long as you're playing with friends not in a competitive situation it would be fine eventually though you'd probably hear the clicking rhythm in your sleeping that's exactly right <laughs> well I, I kind of envisage that on the golf course um you know i practice with it as much as i can and and when I get onto the golf course and I'm play, uh, you know, I'm playing rounds where I can't use it. Essentially, what I'm trying to do is actually feel the timing in my head. I can almost close my eyes and I can hear the timing and I can swing to the click without actually wearing it now. How long did that take? I'd say probably about three months. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm, uh, that's probably why I'm sitting here talking to you now. <laughs> I'm not a great fan of practicing, which is not a good trait if you're a professional golfer. Did you say you're not a big fan of practicing? I did, unfortunately. You're right. All Our right. Kind of guy. <laughs> Our kind of guy. Our kind of guy. Because that is the you know, biggest I argument that, that... Logic that you don't warm up a Rolls Royce. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but um, it hasn't worked well for my pro career, unfortunately. Jeff and I have the biggest arguments about that. I mean, he's he's a professional PGA instructor, and he yes. berates me constantly for not practicing. But oh, it's not really berating. Yeah, it's really it's more berating, fun on Jeff. My end. I'm taking it as berating. Okay, <laughs> it's more fun yeah, on my yeah. end. Okay, uh, well, I'll tell I'll... you what the swing kick has done for me. Jeff, I, I, I tell you what it has done for me. It's actually given me the will to practice. Yeah, because you can practice with purpose in mm -hmm. it. But, but having said that, it is, in terms of your, your rhythm, it's a shortcut for quickly finding your swing before you have a round, you put it on your arm, just swing a couple of times that you can feel the top of your back swing. I had feedback um, from one of our customers in, in the UK this week. He's not a golfer. He plays once every six months. He literally went to practice with it once. And now he's, he just, when he's on the golf course, he just does the click in his head and he's, and he's playing great golf without much practice. So it does, um, it does create a shortcut if you don't like practicing. <laughs> All right. Could you send us about 10 more of them, please? <laughs> yeah, Cause John would like to just sit down, have a drink and a pizza and get better at golf. Gentlemen, I'm just going to share one other experience that I found, uh, playing. I spent the very first part of my career very technically driven, looking for a perfect golf swing. The, I, I was never a great putter. Um, I think I, I, I eventually became very proficient in hitting a golf ball. Didn't spend a hell of a lot of time on putting because I, I'm so focused on my on my rhythm now. It's actually improved my putting, and I found that my the rhythm in my putting stroke has improved as well, which is which is which has been such a huge side effect for me, and it's been great. Tell me how you use that in in putting. No, 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 no. I, I don't use it when I'm putting. putting but, but but what I'm saying is, you know, in the early part of my golf. I uh, I focused a lot on the technical aspects of the golf swing. In this latter part of my my golf, I've I've purely focused on rhythm in my golf, and not worried too much about the technical aspects of my swing. Obviously, there's things I want to constantly work on, and they work nicely in conjunction with the swing click. But because I focus so much on rhythm, it's filtered through into my putting, and I find my putting stroke, my rhythm of my putting stroke, is so much better than it used to be. Yeah. I see. I see. It's a focus. It's a, it's a, it's a focus. It's a very nice and, byproduct. And it's my focus point. Yeah. I mean, if I if I look at Ernie um, at the Masters, I I just I, I you know I just feel he's lost a little bit of rhythm. The yips essentially is no rhythm. And then this past weekend, he seemed to find a little bit of it um, at yeah, the I, at the Heritage. I know he switched putters, gone, but uh, something yeah, must have gone back to. Yeah, he's gone back to the way he used to putt. He's yeah. got his wrists a bit higher. Well, when you have a great yeah. rhythm on your golf swing, you can feel it. You know it. Absolutely. And, Absolutely. And if you've got a, a gizmo that's going to get me better both uh, 
with with my uh, driver, my irons, and my putter with little or no practice. Sign me up. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, this yeah, is this is almost as good as maybe a magic elixir. You know, that would have been a little bit better, but still. Exactly, and and the key with the swing click, uh, we've had a f- you know when you start using it because as golfers we tend to be quite quick. As I said previously, you get under pressure and your swing gets shorter and shorter and then your rhythm, you lose your rhythm. Um, So even for golfers, just to use it as a drill, just to feel the top of their backswing, because if they can find the top of their backswing consistently, they'll have great rhythm. And it's as simple as that. What's the website? Because I know you've got uh, videos and and Mike explaining exactly how to use it uh, on your website. What's the address for that? Yes, so it's swingclickgolf.com. Um, so that's fairly simple. And the product is available on Amazon as well. Um, we've actually got t- uh, two versions. We've got last year's version, uh, which is just the Swing Click. And then we've just launched the, the new release, Swing Click Plus, uh, where we've improved the strap and we've uh, brought out a sleeker, more aerodynamic design. And it also comes out in four cool colors. Um, and, and both those versions are available on Amazon, but you can, you can click through on the links from our website, swingclickgolf.com. And what kind of a price in the United States dollars are we talking? Yes. So the, the last year's version is, um, is $20 and this latest version is $39. Cheaper twice the price. Think of how much money and time you'll save in practice. That's (laughs) worth 30 bucks or so. Lisa Nihas, Mike Quinn with Swing Click. It's been fun not only talking to you, but listening to you. Thank you. Thank you. You're quite welcome, guys. And uh, we'll check back with you in a little bit and uh, and see how things are going on. But thanks for spending some time with us here on those Weekend Golf Guys. Fantastic. Thank right. you very much. Thank You're you quite for welcome. having us. And you yeah. can hang out, too. We'll be right back. Don't you move. You can always follow us on Twitter. It is twitter.com at WKND Golf Guys on Twitter. You suck. I mean, isn't that the thought that goes through your mind every time you, like, chunk a chip or blade a wedge? It is, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it indeed, is. it is. I hear that so many times from people. <laughs> you know, it could be – I hate to say this because I'm one of these personal responsibility kind of guys, but it could be the club. That's possible. And I don't understand. I know you do, but nobody understands, so we're not going to explain it. But the bounce and the lie angle and the grind and all that kind of stuff, it's very confusing but very important for wedges. Is it not, Jeff? That is absolutely true. You, right. you better have something that gets through the turf pretty well. Harry Taylor, former PGA professional golfer and excellent club designer, has new wedges that work for 98% of us. Harry and Taylor, harrytaylorgolf.com. Use code LOVEMETENDER and you are going to get a huge discount. The 149 wedge for 99 bucks. the 169 wedge for 109 bucks. Love Me Tender is the code. Go there, check it out, harrytaylorgolf.com. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 of pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 800-554-4183 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 800-554-4183 to take your call now. Call 800-554-4183. That's 800-554-4183. Again, 800-554-4183. Hey, you like to play golf, but you like to save money. Mm, how about doing the same thing at the same time? Check it out, digitalgolfpass.com. No matter where you are in the country, there's probably a digital golf pass that's going to get you a discount at many different golf courses. All right, so this season you're going to save yourself some money and get some uh, some variety in where you go. Digitalgolfpass.com. Use the coupon code GOLFGUYS at checkout, and you will save 5 bucks. Digitalgolfpass.com.
Hi, I'm George Foreman. Do you have an idea for a new product or invention? People ask me all the time, George, how do I get my idea in front of companies? How do I get a patent? What do I do next? Do you have the same questions? I'll tell you like I'll tell them all. Call my friends at InventHelp. Call InventHelp today for free information. InventHelp can submit your invention to companies who are interested in receiving new ideas. Call InventHelp today. Call 1-800-352-1597. That's 1-800-352-1597. And we're back. Thanks for sticking with us. We are those weekend golf guys. John Ashton in the studio. Jeff Smith at the Golf Cave at Otter Creek to play in Simple Golf School. And on the line with us, Bernie Fay. Now, Bernie, if I remember, if I remember correctly, you uh, have developed a product that we are going to talk about because it encapsulates two of my all-time favorite things, practice and exercise. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what you got to do if you want to get better. You know, I have heard those rumors. want to get out there. I have heard those rumors that you got to do that if you want to get better. I'm I'm trying to avoid it, but but this sounds like something even even an old overweight guy like me could probably do and and, you know, not hurt for days afterwards. Well, I'll tell you, John, I had a call the other day from a guy who bought the Mystic about a month ago. I was uh, uh, requesting some feedback, and he called me up, and he said, Bern, I'm a retired engineer from New York. I'm 67 years old, and this thing has given me back what time took away from me. I got a lot more degrees in my backswing, better range of motion, and less fatigue on the course. Now, all of that wow. seems like it could be a, a big help, and it is called the Mystic, M-I-S-I-G. M-I-S-I-G. <laughs> Yeah, how's it work, man? The way I came to develop is when when I uh, when I uh, was about ten years old, I broke my uh, humerus, which is the bone from your shoulder to the elbow. I broke it in half. It twisted and went back together, <laughs> and uh, now it's caked with arthritis and tendonitis and everything else. So I was uh, in my garage messing around with bungee cords and um, tied one up and started pulling on it and got a great stretch out of my shoulder, my back, and my and my hips actually. So uh, and I got a lot more degrees over. Uh, out of my backswing, well, once I developed the pro- prototype over about four weeks, I uh, it really started to work for me, and um, I thought, you know, I felt like I had something, and uh, talked to a lot of people, golf professionals and stuff like that, and they really like it. Uh, you know, they they say a broken humerus is not funny. <laughs> Correct. Okay, I'm sorry. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Try the veal. I'll be well, here all week. Well, Come so, on. You know, the best part about that, John, is that was well, delivered guys, so well. We, that made it all true. Uh, uh, we uh, we introduced the Missig, the most important stretch in golf, at the uh, PGA Merchandise Show, mm-hmm. and um, the Golf Channel picked my product, my invention, as the best new product of the show. Huh. Lauren Thompson took it on the stage and and, and showed it off, and uh, boy, things really started. We really started to get some traction after that. And Golf Digest did a nice story on our on their website about us. And um, people are finding out about it. And right now, we have 19 PGA touring professionals, Champions Tour professionals, and LPGA professionals that are using the MISIG, the most important stretch in golf. They've had them for a couple weeks now, and we are hoping to sign several of them on as tour ambassadors, and we're just so excited about that. We met Hal Sutton, 14-time PGA Tour winner Hal Sutton, and he wrote a beautiful letter for us, and he said, go ahead and use it on your website, you guys. I know you guys are going to be successful with this, and if you go to our website, feel, F-E-E-L, the stretch, feelthestretch.com, you can read a lot of the testimonials, and there are some good ones on there. Putting any product in uh, the hands of uh, Lauren is going to get a lot more people looking at it. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's so funny you said that because uh, we we had a laptop computer at the Chicago Golf Show about a month later, and we had uh, Lauren Thompson, and it was, it was a repeating loop of what she did on the Golf Channel, and people were stopping and looking at it. So by mm-hmm. that next morning, which would be Saturday morning, we got a 40-inch television, <laughs> and we put it on the, on the table. And I'll tell you, you want to get a crowd gathered around your booth, Lauren Thompson is the one that sold this thing for us and put us on the map. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah, I'm wondering, you know, if, if they got Lauren Thompson to, to sponsor that thing, I'm wondering, do you, like, give out little cards that have, you know, like, her phone number on it when you buy one? <laughs> No, I know. 
<laughs> it's funny you, you can make up a, you know maybe it's a dead gonna... number or something you can say it is <laughs> <laughs> oh boy she put us on the map you guys i'll tell you once that happened i mean we've been in business for 11 weeks now mm. and there's so much happening right now i'm sending them out to four universities that have biomechanical golf specific departments in their in in their universities and uh some of these guys are really excited about it because they're thinking about it as a rehab tool for yeah. Uh, golfers. Yeah. I imagine there would be non-golfers that could probably uh, use it, too, for specific uh, injury recuperation. Good night. <laughs> I did sell three of them to hockey players. And they really <laughs> like it. <laughs> right. I'm not yeah. kidding because they get more degrees. You know, when they're going back for the slap yeah. shot, they can bring their arms back farther. Yeah. Well, what it is is, is uh, it's a device. That um, there's a, a, a Velcro elbow cuff that attaches to your left elbow just on or above it. And from there, there's a stretch cord that goes to a sliding handle, which slides up and down a 40-inch golf club-like shaft. And as you push up the sliding handle, it pulls your elbow, and it gives a great stretch of the shoulders, back, and the hips. That's the training aid part of it. The second part of it is a, a swing trainer. The swing trainer aspect of it only allows you to do one thing, and that's the only golf swing you're supposed to have, and that's an inside-to-out swing. You cannot come down from the top with this device, and if you do 50 or 60 reps with it uh, half a dozen times a week, you will see improvement. And I'm so sure of that that we pay the return shipping if you are not satisfied with it in 30 days. And you know how many we've had out of all of them? How many we've had that out of all of them we, 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 we sold? We had one return. And I don't think that guy really understood the mechanics of it. Proud to say that. Yeah, either that or his wife got it at the door and said, Oh, no, we're not getting any more golf stuff. <laughs> that's right. I was going to say, that's probably more likely. Bill. <laughs> hey, Jeff, you're a big biomechanics guy. Yes, I am. <clears throat> and so this this has got to be right up your alley. Yeah, I'm looking at this, and you know, here I am. I've got the website up in front of me, and I'm looking at it, and I think the sliding part might be the key. Because uh, I've seen things right. that clip onto clubs and have a stretchy thing that goes onto the arm, but it's in one fixed location. But I think that the uh, the stretching part, I think that's the key, and I like the idea of that because it can actually create more flexibility. Yeah, and I, I think that's pretty important right. because that's going to work out an awful lot. Uh, you know, especially around the shoulder. Uh, you know that that uh, that left shoulder is really going to get stretched out quite a bit, and I really think that that's got some merit. Okay, so you you seen well, me swing, Jeff? Is this something you <clears throat> think could help someone like me? I think a lot of things could, but this is most definitely <laughs> one of them because, well, if you think about it this way, John, as it as it relates to this product and how it's going to work for you, um, it would it would get you a lot more turn, it would get you more stretch. Okay, and uh, which. As as much as you practice, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah. Um, didn't mean to clear my throat on that one. I practice right uh, after I exercise every day. That's exactly. <laughs> yep. I'm thinking that that you could do this and call it the exercise and practice, and it would be a lot better off than what you currently do. The proverbial two birds with one stone, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I buddy. Think so. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Definitely. But uh, as I take a I look at a this. I had a golf instructor that I met at the PGA merchandise show in Orlando, and he tried it. God, he tried it for like 25 minutes, and he fell in love with it. And he bought one, and he said, "You know, I have three grown kids right now, and if they were still young, I would not let them touch a golf club until they worked out with this for at least two months, because it keeps the left elbow locked through extension, it hinges the wrist properly." And it promotes more than any other device he's ever seen uh, a, a, a perfect inside to out swing. And I guarantee it, I'm paying for the return shipping if people aren't happy with it. And I think that's a pretty, pretty good thing to, 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 yeah. to give you a good reason to buy it. How much is it? It's $79.99, but. Okay. Yesterday, we put a promotion on for, for this radio show and uh, in honor of Lauren Thompson at the Golf Channel. It's seventy nine ninety nine. But if 
people come to the website and type in Golf Channel in the promo code area, they will save $20. For less than the price of a single golf lesson, you can have a lifetime of swing teaching, stretch, and exercise that is a product that really works. Wow. All right. I mean, that, that's, that's the proverbial offer you can't refuse. And like I said, if you get the two-for-one uh, exercise and practice simultaneously from a guy who doesn't really like to do either, you know, it, I, I might actually go and give this a try. So anyhow, Bernie Fay. It's the MISIG, M-I-S-I-G, Most Important Stretch in Golf, and it's feelthestretch.com website, right, Bernie? F-E-E-L, feelthestretch.com, right. promo code GOLF CHANNEL, and they'll save $20 just for your listener. Sounds great to me, man. Listen, we thank you for spending some time with us, Bernie. We thank you, too, for spending time with us. Remember, next week, same place, same time. In the interim, check us out, thoseweekendgolfguys.com, maybe facebook.com slash golfguys. You can follow us on Twitter at WKND Golf Guys, Or you could just say, hey, let's go play some golf. Go do that. We'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye. Hey, you got the Golf Guys app yet? Make sure you go download it at the appropriate smartphone store. It's absolutely free. It allows you to listen to us anywhere at any time. Hey, this is John Ashton with Those Weekend Golf Guys. And, uh, you know, Jeff Smith is a PGA member, so he gets to play like anywhere he wants to play for free. You and I, we're not quite like that. We have to, you know, by hook or by crook. You got a friend, whatever. We all want a discount. We all want a deal. And we know how you can get a deal. You want to go to digitalgolfpass.com. They've got the, uh, the whole country broken up into different areas. And there are a whole lot of golf courses in each area. You can buy one area or upgrade to all the areas it's a membership. It makes you kind of cool. And, you know, with the right deal at your first foray into your favorite golf course with Digital Golf Pass, you've probably saved enough money to actually pay for the membership. Check it out, digitalgolfpass.com. Use the coupon code GOLFGUYS at checkout and you'll save five bucks. Yeah, we hooked that up for you. All right? You know people. Digitalgolfpass.com. Coupon code GOLFGUYS. Go now. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 of pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 800-554-4183 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 800-554-4183 to take your call now. Call 800-554-4183. That's 800-554-4183. Again, 800-554-4183. 